Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I'm back with another video. So I do videos several times a week and so I'm back once again. So, um, yeah, so, uh, last week I went to the, went to Comic Book World and I got a shit ton of comics. I showed you guys that giant haul and everything. So I am going to be doing a review of the new champion of Shazam issue number one. This is actually Mary. I did not know who this was. I thought this was a new character. It's actually Mary, Billy Baxton's adopted older sister, who is currently in college in this issue. So we learn a lot. We learn at least as most as we can about her life as Shazam uh, so, basically, what happens is, just like with Billy, she has to say the word Shazam in order to activate her powers. And there is a lot of things that happens in this comic. One of them is that we learn that Mer that, not sorry, we learn that Billy Baxton has basically trapped himself inside of the Rock of Eternity. And he sends this bunny to warn her that there is something coming and it's supposed to be big. So, one of the things that Mary doesn't do after Billy encases herself in the Rock of Eternity is she never uses her powers at all. So, basically, she just hangs up her cape. She doesn't do crime fighting anymore. She doesn't save the world from magical problems. She basically, she's done with it. I mean, she really took Billy and Case himself in the Rock of Eternity really hard. So, I mean, she loved Billy so much, um, which shows how just likable Billy was or is. Um, it also shows a lot about his heart and how, much, how he relates to people. Um, heck, even in the animated uh, show, Batman... Batman really thinks that Billy has promise. And there was actually a Legos movie um, that had uh, Shazam in it. And the, of course, the Justice League is like, unless you're a kid. And, and, and Billy's like, oh no. <laughs> because he wanted to be part of the Justice League. And what ends up happening is when they all end up getting de aged to children, they suddenly realize that uh, despite. The fact that Billy, without saying the word Shazam, um, you know, is a kid, he has a lot of heart and bravery, and he's perfect for the Justice League. Um, but in this one, um, so basically she, she finally says Shazam, and she's battling like this guy that's got this thing on his chest, and we find out there's more than just one of him, or like him. And basically, it ends on a really, really kind of, um, I'm not going to say the ending of it, but this is vol this is one of four, so there's three more coming. Um, I, am, I really hope this comes out at the beginning of next month, issue number two, because I'll tell you something, I really like the character of Mary. She's one of my most favorite members of the Shazam family. And it's really cool that she's now in, literally in her own comic, uh, even if it's only four issues. But I am going to give this uh, five stars. This is a awesome cover. I really loved it. I also really love the fact that she is very, she's not really um, ex uh, interested anymore in being a hero or being a superhero because of Billy which really shows that she really cared really deeply for Billy and uh, it's just really nice to um, to see that and I really did like the actress who played her um, later and they I really like the fact is that the adult um, version of her um, which I don't I to be honest I really don't know if there is an adult version of her there might be um, but uh, that they're that they're that they're that they were basically identical to each other. So, but yes, five stars. Just love it, love it. Um, it's 
oh man, this is this is probably probably for this month. Uh, besides the um, the Batman one that I am going to be posting uh, soon, uh, this is one this is one of my favorites of August. Um, and no, I have not read DC vs. Vampires yet. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but I, um, I believe she appears in DC vs. Vampires All Out War. There actually is, um, a female figure who, uh, has Shazam's powers and his suit. Except that, you know, it's a skirt. I think it's a skirt. Um. But I do think she appears in a DC vs. Vampires All Out War. Um, and she has his powers and everything. So, I think that was her. But anyways, um, so yeah. So, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did like it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you wish to. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So, until next time, nerds read on. Bye.